Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Have you ever started learning a language but just couldn't continue? Why does this happen? And what do successful language learners do differently? In this video, we're going to talk about why you should put your language learning on autopilot. We asked you, and the number one reason people don't continue is time. Either you don't make the time for learning or you're just too busy. But a lot of the time, this is caused by the resources you're using. If you've downloaded five language apps and bought two books, you'll get overwhelmed about where to start and what to do next. So what do successful language learners do? Successful learners don't overwhelm themselves thinking, what should I do today? They put their learning on autopilot. Imagine this. Let's say you have a favorite TV show. A new episode comes out every Tuesday. So you know what you're doing on Tuesday night. You don't have to think about it. You don't need a reminder, it's automatic. Every Tuesday you watch an episode. You make it into a habit. Now, how do we apply that to language learning? First, habits. If you have a habit of learning, then you're already on autopilot. So set a small, measurable, monthly goal with a deadline, like learn 100 words or do 30 lessons by the end of the month. Once you know your goal, you can backtrack. So for example, divide 100 words by 30 days in a month and you get 3.33. So you should learn about three words a day. Now you know what to do. Three words a day, there's no confusion. Do those three words and you're done. You don't need to think about what you should be doing because you already know what you're doing. It becomes a habit. The second way to stay on autopilot is with language textbooks. This is basically just because books are sequential. You just follow the pages from one until the end. You don't have to think about where to go next, so it's easy to stay on track with what you need to do. Third, the word of the day. Every day you get a new word in your email inbox automatically. You don't have to think about it. Simply check your email, learn a word, and you're done. The fourth way is with our progress tracking tools. They spoon feed you lessons one by one. So let's say you finished lesson one where you learned greetings, then you automatically load up lesson two where you learn a basic conversation that uses the greetings you learned in lesson one. Then you have lesson three and four and so on. You don't have to worry about what to do next because our dashboard will keep you on track. It'll even build upon what you learned in your previous lessons so you won't forget it. The point is to put your learning on autopilot. You need something that guides you from A to B to C, whether it's your own habits or a book that takes you from one to 100 or a learning program that feeds you lessons. So take one of these tips and apply it today. So to put your learning on autopilot, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share this video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.